All right, Chef Brian Nelson from Late Harvest Kitchen. My favorite place to get yummy vegetables because he makes the best of everything. Well, thank you. But like I said, you make vegetables taste like candy. Well, that's the that's the aim today. <laughs> Is that the aim? Probably <laughs> the second sprouts, segment more, but right? uh, okay. this one as well. I'm going to make a citrus vinaigrette to start, uh, a proper vinaigrette, and then the idea here is the technique can be used for different things. Like we're making a citrus vinaigrette, but you could substitute red wine, you could substitute uh, ginger, soy sauce. What I have here is orange juice, garlic, shallots, a couple of egg yolks, some stone ground mustard, which adds flavor and also acts a little bit as a thickening agent, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt and pepper. I've got my hand wand right here. And fun. Vanessa, I don't want to like. Are you splash me? Yeah, Am I in the splash zone? Sure. Don't want to do that. So we've got our hand wand here. These cost about 25 bucks at the store. Sometimes they last a month, sometimes they last two years. You know, it's, it's kind funny, of a I have here. a mini one of those, and it actually just expired on me. Yeah. So, but they're so fun to do dressings, make it so easy. Super handy. I froth coffee with it. A lot of people don't make their own vinaigrettes, but it is really, really easy. So it starts to come together, and then I just slowly add some olive oil. And any oil, you can use vegetable oil, salad oil. I think the less flavor to it, the more your citrus kind of shines through. Mm. If you have like a really unctuous, uh, flavorful olive oil, sometimes that overshadows the vinaigrette. So get a light tasting olive oil. Exactly. Tell me about the yolk in that. Is it the acid that takes care of it? Uh, the yolk um, is going to act as a thickening agent and also as flavor. Um, but as far as like cooking it, like it's a raw oak, so we're gonna we're gonna live uh, live We're gonna live on the edge. Is this yeah. pretty popular? It is. The yeah. Brussels sprout salad uh, is by far our most popular item at the restaurant. Which, oh. if you would have told me that a couple years ago when we put it on the menu, or, or several years actually, huh. um, I wouldn't have believed you because it's yeah. just raw Brussels sprouts. But we've got our mandolin, and uh, these work great. As long as you are very careful, you know, yeah, tip right. your thumb off. Or no, tip your finger essence out. of yeah. all this in yeah, there. You just want the right. Brussels sprouts. I'll stay away from it. So. so you just kind of shave them real nice, real thin. You can do you get onions, you get potatoes, a lot of a lot of uses for the mandolin. So we've got our uh, our Brussels sprouts all set there, and then we're just going to add our vinaigrette. It's nice and light and frothy. You know, it kind of reminds me of spring. If to me, it feels like sure. spring outside sure. today. I don't want any more snow, Alice. If you could put in that order. Oh, okay, if that's what <laughs> you insist. Here, well, we'll, Thank we'll you. make sure there's no more snow for us. So. A little but, bit of but salt. Kind of citrus vinaigrette. It's super light. Okay. And then we just kind of, I think people tend to kind of over, uh, over, uh, dress their uh, their greens. So we kind of like go on the edges, probably get a little bit drier just because then it highlights the other uh, ingredients. You don't want to just taste salad dressing. Mm -hmm. You want to taste everything. Mm -hmm. Boy, it smells so, nice and fresh and yeah. healthy. Got some Parmesan cheese. Randy, if you don't mind uh, yeah, oh. breaking those up for me. So you want me to just leave them in there and do it? Yep, the, exactly. This, uh, or actually, just kind of give my little head. Yeah. And then I've got oh, some yeah. eggs here that I'm going to sieve. I could be a chef. There you go. Perfect. Hey, bye, dude. Uh, I've got a cooked egg. And I'm just going to put that through my, my cheese slicer. My cheese grater, actually. There we go. So oh, we've that's the interesting. Nice, yeah, and it, it kind of changes the texture. So when you change that texture, you change the mouthfeel. And it just works really well for a salad application. Oh. It's really light. And it looks cool, too. There we go. So we go like that. Thank you, sir. Chef, that's beautiful. And then we take our... Are you okay? Looks pretty, yeah, these are perfect. Yeah. And then you got, since they're broken up, you've got more texture. And these are smoked almonds, so they've got a fair amount of flavor on their own. That looks like breakfast to me. You could just pass that plate right over here. And then we're going to do just a titch more of the citrus vin to kind of give it a nice little oh, sheen wow. and kind of gloss on top. And that is our best-selling item at the restaurant. Mouth-watering. It has been for Best-selling item. Okay, so so you were really shocked when that came up as your best-selling yeah, item. Yeah, it's raw Brussels sprouts. It's, yeah. This it's shows like, you, the he's a magician. That's what he is. At Late Harvest Kitchen, how many years are we going on now? Uh, we're in our 12th year now, so we've been around. Oh, and Congratulations. Uh, in many ways, I think we're still uh, kind of hitting our stride. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But nice what? and light. Mm. Mm, you know, could eat it any time. Very good yep. job. And not one flavor competes no. with the next. Nope. You get this bright citrus flavor, yep. Yep. and then that deep almond and the egg, and that mmm. -hmm. It's super balanced. So good, you guys. What really makes That's it, you know, Chef? Just those uh, crushed almonds. I don't know who did mm. that. They're crushed perfectly. Oh, they really yeah. are.
<laughs> Stop by any time to take care of that for us. So <laughs> yummy. So you're sticking around. What are you going to make in the second half of the show? I've got some mahi-mahi that we're going to pan here mm -hmm. with a little bit of uh, root vegetable that we're going to saute. So some very sweet vegetables. Okay. I love that you good. teach us as you're making things so we can come up and vis visit you up at Late Harvest Kitchen or take some of these tips and integrate them at home. Alice, let me just dab your chin right there. He's got some. <laughs> say, he's saving it for later as my dad likes to say. What are you doing? I'm saving that for later. Mm.